Hey guys, it's James here from eBass Guitar. In today's bass guitar lesson, I wanna show you how you can learn walking bass in less than 10 minutes, and also show you how to create a walking bass line to the iconic jazz standard, I Got Rhythm. If that sounds good, make sure you check out this lesson all the way to the end. Hey guys, it's James here from eBass Guitar, and today's bass guitar lesson is inspired by Rob, who's one of my Bass Lab Plus students over at eBassGuitar.com. He's a really great intermediate standard bass guitar player. He's always out playing with bands and going to jam sessions. But he said something interesting to me not so long back, that he felt walking bass was light years ahead of where he's at right now. And I said to him, that's probably not the case. I reckon I can show you how to play walking bass over one of the greatest jazz standards ever written in less than 10 minutes. So today I wanna to share the ideas that I shared with him, inspired by some of the concepts in my book, The Essential Guide to Walking Bass for Bass Guitar Players. So just before we hit the lesson content today, I want to let you know that it's a completely free PDF that comes with this lesson. So you wanna see all of the ideas that we're discussing today written out in standard notation and tab. Make sure you click the link in the description below to download the free PDF. PDF workbook. Also, the backing track that we are using today is part of our Jazz Jam backing track album, Volume 2. You can grab that over at ebassguitar.com. Just click the product menu in the top navigation and you can grab your copy there. So as a foundation for today's bass guitar lesson, we're gonna be using a tune called I Got Rhythm by George Gershwin. The chord sequence in this tune has literally been used in tens, if not hundreds of other jazz songs, so it's well worth knowing. And in my opinion, it's probably within the top five jazz songs that all bass guitar players should know. Make sure you go away and check out tunes such as The Flintstones, or Anthropology by Charlie Parker, or Straighten Up and Fly Right by Nat King Cole, so you can hear this chord sequence used in other contexts. I Got Rhythm is a 32 bar AABA chord sequence. What I mean by that is there is a total of 32 bars that loop round and round, and then within those 32 bars, we can break it down into four eight bar sections, which are rearranged in the order A, A, B, A. So all we need to do is learn the A section and then the B section. So let's take apart the eight bar A section. What we're gonna do is we're gonna split this into four two bar chord sequences. We're in the key of B flat, and this is largely based on the one, six, two, five chord sequence in the key of B flat. So that's gonna be B flat, G minor seven, C minor seven, F seven, two beats on each one. So loop that round and round to get comfortable with the first two bars. And then let's hit bars three and four. And what we're gonna do is turn this into a three, six, two, five chord sequence. So we're gonna have uh, D minor seven, G minor seven, C minor seven, F seven like that. So two beats on each one. Make sure you grab the free PDF that comes with this lesson so you can see this all written out. So let's put the first four bars together. like so. Now let's look at bars five and six. And what we have is this ascending chord sequence, which is B flat, B flat over D. And then we hit the E flat chord. And then for the last two beats of that bar, we play an E diminished like that. So we end up with this chord sequence. And then let's move on to the last two, bar, two bars of the eight bar chord sequence, which is going to be F. So this is a B flat with an F in the bass, which is going to be F, G minor seven, C minor seven, F seven, like that. Like so. And this really works nicely when we connect those last four bars together, because we end up with this chord sequence, B flat, then the F, G minor seven, C minor seven, F seven. And that is literally the chord sequence for the first eight bars. And this A section is repeated three times through our I got rhythm. So let me play you that all together so you can hear what it sounds like with the backing track. One, two, three, four. So 
So what you'll notice about the A section is each chord change lasts two beats. But when we move into the bridge section or the B section now, you'll discover each chord lasts two bars. So it has quite a different sound to it. So the chords that we're going to use for the bridge are much simpler. They are a three, six, two, five, one chord sequence. So that means we are going to get two bars of D7, then two bars of G7, two bars of C7, and then two bars of F7. And what we could do is simply play a D7 or D mixolydian scale over it and it would work fine, but I want to show you a technique called the whole half half which works really nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to play each note for two beats each. So we're going to play the D and then we're going to go up a whole step, two beats again and then we're going to go up a half step for two beats and then up another half step and then that will land us on the next chord change which is the G like so. It's great for this particular chord sequence and we can apply that concept to the whole of the B section. So let me play it to you. And then the same thing again here and we're going to go G and then a whole step and then a half step B flat and then another half step B natural and then that lands us at the C. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the C down the octave so we don't go up into the higher register and we're going to take that same pattern again which is going to be C to the D that's a whole step and then a half step which is going to be D sharp or E flat and then another half step which is going to be E natural like that and then to the F which is going to be the same sequence again and then that lands us back at a B flat which I'm going to put down the octave like so. So let me play the whole pattern in isolation. And then back into the back into the A section there. So let's play it with the track so you can hear what this sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So in about 10 minutes or so, we have covered the foundation of how to play I Got Rhythm and we have created a perfectly acceptable and great sounding walking bass line. So I wanna let you know, if you want help with the concepts in this lesson and want to learn how to expand these ideas out even further, make sure you jump over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Essential Walking Bass course. You can get that as part of a Bass Lab Plus membership along with a ton of other courses Courses. In fact, a whole program which is designed for the beginner to intermediate bass player. You can join the Bass Lab Plus free today with a 14 day trial. There is a link in the description below. So this lesson wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you where these ideas could go. And what I want to do is show you some of the concepts from module three of my book, The Essential Guide to Walking Bass, and actually add in some chromatic passing notes, because this is the secret to getting the one, six, two, five, one chord sequence sounding really, really good. So what I'm going to do is take the A section and add in some upper and lower chromatics. Make sure you grab the free PDF because this will show you absolutely everything written out here. So I'm going to just construct a bass line over the A section for you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the B flat and then we are going to approach the G from half a step below. So that means we're going to play a G flat and then hit the G like that. Like that. And then we're going to approach the C minor 7 chord from half a step above. So we're going to approach that from a D flat. 
and then hit the C minor like that. So we end up with this idea. Like that. And then we are going to approach the F7 from half a step above. So we're going to approach it from a F sharp or G flat. Like that. So we end up with this chord sequence. Or note pattern rather. And then we're going to hit the D minus 7 and we're going to approach that from half a step below. Notice how these all fall really nicely under the hand too. So we're going to go D flat to the D. And then we're going to use the same pattern that we just discovered in uh, the first two bars. So we're going to go uh, D to the F sharp to the G and then to the D flat to the C and then to the G flat to the F like that. And then the only change we're going to make is we're going to hit an open A to take us back to the B flat like so. So let me play you the whole of those four bars. Like that. And that works really great for chord sequence, which is going around the circle of fifths, which is what those first four bars are largely based on. Now, let's go into the next sequence. And when you've got a more linear line like this, it's just simpler to leave it right alone. So we're going to go... Leave that exactly as it is. And then we're going to add chromatic approach notes. So to get to the G, we're going to go via the G flat. Like that. And then to get to the D nat the C rather, we're going to go via the D flat, like that. And then to get to the F, we're going to go via the F sharp or G flat. And then hit that A, a natural to take us back to the B flat like that. So let me play you those four bars. Let's put the whole of those eight bars together so you can hear what they sound like. Notice how that simple tweak really creates that classic walking bass sound. And the great thing we can do now we've got this is we can really start to speed it up. I've often played I Got Rhythm or Rhythm Changes is it's often known at really fast tempo. So you can play these ideas like one, two, one, two, three, four. etc etc but just start off slowly and take every note apart note by note make sure you grab the free pdf which comes with this lesson and you'll see everything written out so to finish off i'm going to play this with the backing track adding in the chromatic passing notes so you can really get a sense of where the contents of this lesson One, is going two, three, four. <laughs> Guys, that's the end of today's bass guitar lesson. Don't forget to download the completely free PDF workbook which comes with this lesson so you can see everything that we've covered today written out in standard notation and a tab. Also, if you want to take the contents of this lesson to that next level and learn walking bass right from the ground upwards, make sure you check out the Essential Walking Bass course as part of the Bass Lab Plus program over at ebassguitar.com. You can join today free with a 14-day trial. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I'll catch you next time.